Hey, we're up and running. What do you know about all that nonsense? Can I hear myself talking now? Can I hear myself talking now? I can. Let's get out of there so that uh, nobody changes my settings and crap. How about that? <clears throat> Seems like a winner, doesn't it? See if I can get to my own stream on my phone. There we go. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to watch myself here. Come on. And this is not damn streaming. <sighs> or damn sculpting, for that matter. I hate working in Twitch. May I just tell you that? I really do. It's bugging me. Bugging me. Right smack dab in the balls. Professional stream job. Hey, you know what? I'll get better. You shut up. Here, you can see all my crap here. Isn't that exciting? Let's go to me for a second and change the uh, name of this. Let's look, go to me for look a at all that crap. Change the. Uh... That's not what it is at all. Dream time. There we go. Good enough. Now I never need to look at that again. All right, so where are we going to play first? We are going to play the club at Wyndham Ridge, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I was initially going to play Stony Point, and then I looked, and uh, the <clears throat> three elements that were supposed to be judged were not specified, and that needs to happen. You can't just say, look at all the elements I did. I did all of them. Pick and choose. No, that's not how it's going to work. I don't care how many you did. Please specify the three. This is what we're doing. One blind tee shot on the fourth hole. Two holes with zero bunkers, four and 11. One par three greater than 230 yards, the 11th. Here's what else I like. He listed right here the tees. Now, seeing as how this is a CC contest, I will then be playing the blue tees. Uh, it doesn't say based on what um, clubs you're using. It says based on the tour level. So I am going to go ahead and use um, master clubs and play from the blue, as that is what is specified here. If I need to change that, so be it. Um, but that simply is what it is. But this is where we are going to play. So let's switch over to that nonsense and see what we can do. So let's go. Blue tees. Well, 7,500 yards, I think, is plenty, uh, regardless of what kind of clubs you're playing. I don't care what tees we're going to play. Uh, let's just play one, since that's the one most folks are going to be playing. Now, I will tell you, I may get sucked into judging as part of this uh, contest, and that's totally fine. I don't think that there's any problem with me doing a playthrough, critique, help, whatever you want to call this, um, and judging. I, I don't see a problem with that. Uh, if you guys do, then you can stick it directly in your nostril. Uh, you can pick which nostril, I don't care. Uh, preferably whichever one is smaller, but uh, let's go ahead and get going here. Now, I will say, I, right off the bat, kind of like the claustrophobic feel. I mean, there's this openness, but it's not its not quite as open as it looks. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it is, but um, I like that he made it feel more claustrophobic. Look, he gave me a way to get down to that tee box, which is good. Definitely got some... A uh, little work probably to do as you go forward on on uh, uh, retaining wall, but you know what? That's a very difficult thing to pull off, and I applaud you for doing that. Um, I like the tree in the courtyard idea up there, but let's actually play the golf course and see how we do. Uh, those are some pretty funktacular bunkers. Oh, look at that. Oh. I've got a silly little uh, spam thing. Eh, well, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I like to look at the bunkers off this hole. This uh, fairway has some uh, protuberances. Here is a protuberance 
further protuberances here. Ooh, that green's gonna be a good time, isn't it? Anyway, I'm 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 done with all that nonsense. Do we have any out of bounds or anything to worry about? Nope, just a big old lake. Oh, well, very fast. Hey, and we're off and running. By the way, how I play is not indicative of anything other than the fact that I suck. So pay no heed to my suckage, and we will all get along famously. Hey, look at that. Straight, perfect, perfect. I like your big rocks. I like your big stone work there. Um, I will say just right off the bat, as far as planting goes, be careful not to fall into the trap of yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red. Yellow. It, it's a really easy thing to do. People do it especially around water. Have you ever noticed that? They'd be like, okay, go around the edges, and I'm going to do first this bush, and then the other bush, and then the rock, and then this other one over here, and it'll be great, and it'll make me feel like happy. But it won't make you feel like happy. It'll make you feel like suck. Anyway. If this is where pro club clubs are going to be landing, um, boy, I, I wish that you could change the uh, the edges of bunkers in this theme. Uh, I actually wrote to Paul a while back and said, hey, is there any way we could choose that texture? And by that texture, I mean the one that's going around the edges of these bunkers. Because if you could choose that underlying texture, oh my goodness, that would be sweet. I also did not change my club set. I had it set up for a different course entirely, and I have no lob wedge. So this will be fun. I like that little uh, jutting of uh, green back to the back right on that last one. That'll be a fun pin position. A curvy bridge. I love curvy bridges. I chose the blue tees. I chose the blue tees because it said that the blue tees were for CC Pro. And that's kind of who is going to be playing this, so that's what I went with. Now, I would like for you to look and see that we have a new definition. This is the new definition of centerline bunkers, okay? Because I think that our ratio of sand to fairway is uh, skewing the wrong direction here. It makes for a good look, but let me give you a little, a little piece of advice. You could do this, and you could pull off this same look with half as much sand. Not only that, but why not, why not let this part down here be fairway? Because you're, you're giving the player a choice to play short of all the hazards and put themselves in the fairway, but in a worse position, if that makes sense. Um, right now... This whole, I don't really have any safe options. Like, I, I guess this could be considered a safe option, but why would I hit a three iron up there? I, I don't understand that. So um, providing either a safe option here, where I'm kind of blocked out, or here would be the way to uh, get past all that. And that's downhill slightly, so let's, let's just do this. Let's loft that a little. And I'm going to go right in that bunker. So let's just play out of there. But let me know if that doesn't make sense. Give give the player a place to either play short or over to the right. Um, I like the fact that you kind of went with some wild shapes on the bunkers. I will tell you that one where you're going to have a steep edge like that was probably not the place to do that. Um, simply because it makes it very hard to, to get a clean look um, for a drop into the bunkers. It's just, it's difficult to pull off unless you've got some pretty even edges. <clears throat> and anybody else who wants to, I mean, anybody can critique and talk as we go through here. I like the way the green sits. I don't mind this green at all, really. So there's good stuff there. Uh, again, I'm not trying to make a score. I'm just playing around the course and seeing how things go. Oh, no, and, and the only thing to finalize is um, 
how the points are handled for required elements, which I thought I had already given him, but I will double check. I am interested to see if shapes were used or splines were used on the fairways, because so far, and even on the green, I've seen some very, some curves that lead me to believe that there were some shapes used and that you're trying to just lay big shape, big shape, big shape and make them all flow together. That is really not the best way to do things. Um, if you're not going to use splines, that's fine, but get some, get a shape that's got at least one side that's a little smooth, you know, either a smooth circle or a smooth, um, yeah, I noticed that, um, about the, the people not specifying. So I'm going to make sure that's loud and clear. Anybody watching, please specify which three elements you want used. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> But, you know, get a circle, get an oval, get a, uh, a kidney bean or something, and go around and make the edges of things work a little bit. This bunker over here, um, definitely needs a little tweaking as far as how it sits in the land, uh, unless you want it to be like a wasty area, in which case, I will say from the T, I think it would have been cool to have this bunker wasty kind of pull up into here a little bit. Uh, also, this front left bunker, I don't think adds anything visually to the hole. I think if you wanted to put a stone, maybe a big stone there would have been a cool thing. Or uh, maybe just a slight elevation change. This green is kind of fun. I like this. Let's see what we can get away with. What do you think? Not going to make it. Oh, Billy. Yeah, they just have to choose. And the thing is, like, one guy I already looked at, he did all the elements, and he chose the ones that are, I mean, you're not going to lose points. Like, at least five par threes. Well, you're not going to lose points if you have five par threes. Now, granted, they could be crap holes. It doesn't matter. You've you've met those. That's fine. Um or, you know, has to be a certain yardage. Well, if you've made it a certain yardage, that's great. But you're not going to get bonus points for meeting those. If you want to earn a couple little bonus points here and there, then you need to have us judge ones like, um, you know, no bunkers or drivable par four or um, something like that. And if you, well, I mean, you might get bonus points. Like if, if you made a par four that was under a certain number of yards, but you did it in a very creative way, yeah, you could get bonus points there. Now, this is our blind tee shot, right? Let's look. At least one blind tee shot. That is the fourth. Now, is this considered a blind tee shot since I could play over here if I wanted to? I would say yeah. This, this still counts as a blind tee shot. Uh, and how was it accomplished? I like how this was accomplished. It was accomplished simply because, hey, the land flowed this way. And uh, so I'm going to give you a blind tee shot over here. There's plenty of room. That's the other thing I like. If On a blind tee shot, you need to give people room to play. And you've done that. Uh, which I appreciate it. Um, I think the hole itself, I can see a couple of things I would have done slightly differently on the hole itself, but that's neither here nor there. Let's just drive it out here and see how we do. Oh, a fast. Oh, good. It's moving slightly, so we're good there. I will say one thing I appreciate. Um, uh, blind shot and no bunker. Correct. There you go. And no bunker. And one thing that I like, um, no, no, no. And, and you'll find, you'll get, you'll get points for variety. No, 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 no. It, it's fine. B101. If you think that the variety of the holes warrants that, then put that in your description. Like go ahead and get in there and say, Hey, I want you to judge these, but I want you to look at, you know, these elements or look at, um, uh, look at, I don't know, uh, how two of them go left, right. And the other two go right to left or something like that. That's fine. I just mean, I don't know. I, I think picking up bonus points, you could have people judge some of the ones that are a little more, I want to say esoteric, but that's the wrong word. Um, I was going to say on this hole, one reason why no bunkers works so well is because you have water over here. I'm going to say something. If you have water just or, or a, um, um, if you have water or a cliff right next to your fairway, don't freaking put bunkers there. You don't need them. Let the water or the cliff or whatever be the hazard. Stop thinking that you have to put bunkers there, especially to save bad shots. 
Who cares? Let people suck. At least until they're done. <laughs> okay, enough. All right. Actually, let's do this. There will be some folks who will be like, this green is, is crazy. I like crazy greens. Especially if you're going to have no bunkers, give me a crazy green. Do it. Crazy green. I like it. I will say one thing so far on the greens. You, it, it hasn't been bad. I mean, you've brought in some elements from outside the green into the green as far as the sculpting goes. But I think you could do even more. Sorry, I'm just looking at this tee shot, trying to think exactly what I want to say. Because I kind of love the look of this tee shot. I really, really do. I'm just wondering about this, this part of the bunker right here. Up to about right here. I think you could have pulled the look off and still given people the illusion of a safe shot. You've given a safe shot here, which from the back tee would be fine. From the tee I'm on, um, um, it's it's not really a great option because of, of the length of the hole. But you could have, right here where the circle is, you could have ditched that part of the bunker, kept the same look, and even worked some, uh, worked some uh, camber into it right to left, which would have been cool. I also like that that bunker in the back looks like multiple bunkers, but it's not. Surprise, surprise. Well, well, well. I have no idea where this is going to end up, so whatever. Yeah, I think back here in the planting, you're doing something that a lot of guys do, which is fine, but um, I think if you go look in nature, you'll find it slightly different, and that is... Uh, I would go to a free camera, by the way, except if I go to a free roam camera, my UI goes completely away and I can never get it back. So I'm not going to do that. But um, wildflowers and that, when you look at them out on the course, I don't think like they're spread that far apart. Like here's one and then 15 yards further, there's another one. 15 yards further, there's another one. You'll find them in clumps and bunches. So, I mean, if you're going to put one there, put, you know, 12 there and then go somewhere else and do a few more up in another little section. Do you know what I mean? Or like find little hollows or little rises and stick them in there um, just a little bit. I like the camber on this shot. I like this shot itself. Um, again, I feel like if you're going to have a, a significant drop like that, um, keeping that edge of the bunker a little cleaner will make that a lot easier to pull off. It's not bad. I just am saying it, it makes it easier to pull off that way. Let's see here, which is going to affect this more. I don't know, so I'm just going to hit it. And I'm going to fly the green because I hit fast. Oh, I'm not. Yay. Look at that. There wasn't even a, uh, there wasn't even a, a, a backboard back there. I thought I was going to go full Cameron Champ. Well, that was pee pee. You know what stinks? I, I gave my guy a visor and I tried to give him to where he had some like little gray silver highlights because that's what I have in the sides of my hair, not on the top. And it put them all on the top. I do not have gray hair on the top. Well, I might somewhere, but I definitely do on the sides. All right, it's Barton. I'm just going to tell you this. This bunker here, I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, it's not in a bad spot or anything. I just, I don't know. For some reason, it's just hit me wrong. But I'll shut up about it because it really doesn't matter. Hmm. 
I also, I don't mind, is this supposed to be meeting any elements here? No, we don't have any more until the 11th hole. Ha, you use two holes to pull them both off. I like that. Good strategy. Good strategy. Well done. In a world where one man made a good choice and then pooped his pants. Um, I like that this opens up further instead of shorter. Some people are going to give you uh, more openness short. I like that. That's kind of cool. Nope. There we go. You know what, Spartan? I will tell you sometimes, if you are battling a feature really, really hard, completely delete it, smooth the land out, go back to the T, see what it looks like, and, uh, and see if your brain says, you know what, I don't need that. Let's do something else. All right, I'm going to yell at you. You know how you had that big bridge on the uh, second hole, and it gave us away over that pond? Where, where am I going here? Anyway, I dig this shot a lot. Um, I dig this bunker over here a lot. I think again that, um, I think that bunker could have been hit a little more cleanly, but I, but the, the angle of this shot is really cool. Um, I think this part of the green back here if you're going to put this bunker here, I think this part of the green back here could be a little bit bigger. Uh, simply because if I'm going to challenge this bunker, you know, I need to have a landing space if I'm going to make it. I like that the green is nice and long like this. I, I am really big into elongated greens right now. Why? I don't know. And the mountain over there with those stones is really, really well done. You probably could have put a tree up there or something. It would have been kind of cool too. Yeah, like I said, the bunker short is is very cool. It's it's a good placement for it. Um, I think if it had a flatter bottom and was was just a little more visible, not visible, but like I think you could have gotten away with starting the bunker more where that first finger is as opposed to way back where it is, and then brought it even closer to the green, but just a little higher up. I think you would have. Uh, I think you would have liked that look a little better, if that makes any sense. Like, not quite as deep, but but larger and closer to the actual putting surface. Did I just hit that, like, really hard? Yeah, I thought I did. It's okay. Just, you know... That's a hike through the woods. It's fun that way. It's enjoyable. I like hiking through the woods. It's all good. Granted, I wore shorts. I would have left my waders on, you know. Okay, this is, this is, you've heard of the, the Himalayas, you know, concept for a, for a green. This is the Himalayas for a T. Right here. You know what you should hand out at the uh, clubhouse? is you should hand out a slinky with every every tea time gets a free slinky and then right here there's a there's a thing at the bottom and it's you know how many steps can you slinky down anyway I'll shut up it just made me laugh inside a little bit again we've got a center line bunker which I'm not sure who that would come into play for I don't think that center line bunker would ever come into play for anybody I will just tell you, I, I see the look you're pulling off with the centerline bunker, but I think you could have pulled that same look off by simply starting the fairway a little bit further up and taking this bunker and extending it to the left a little bit without just chucking one into the fairway. I think it's just a little gratuitous. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just hitting. Oh, very fast. Hit the tree. Oh, perfect. Good job. That's exactly what I had planned.
Come back. Nope. Okay. Fair? I'm not trying to be fair. No, I'm just joking. That's fine. Ooh, a little downy. You know what? It's funny. It says it's not downhill, but it, it is after the halfway point. Uh, I missed. I played it, of course, the other day. It was a short little course, but the green's on the back nine. My goodness gracious. It's an old course, but still, I mean, it would be like just playing on red slopes the whole time. They had one that I'm sure they tried to make a punch bowl, but it, I, I told some the damn guys, I said it turned into a toilet bowl. I, I had birdie putts on like six holes on the back, and I made, I take that back, I made one. It was a par 70. I shot 77, which I still felt pretty good about, but my gosh, I couldn't make a putt save my life. Huh. I don't mind the green shape. I'm just sitting here thinking... My eye on this one, this is fine, but my eye on this one doesn't like the way this fairway is working over here. I feel like, again, this is just this is just my viewpoint. I would have cut this bunker in half, brought the fairway over this direction, and brought my planting a little further over to the right, if that makes sense. Um, then everything could be a little more level. I think the bunker would pop a little bit more. I don't know. That's just what my eye is seeing. I feel like this one's just forced onto the ground a little bit. Not bad, just a little bit. Kick right. Go in the hole. Oh, you piece of crap. Back in my day, we call that shitty. Ooh, this is funky. This is funky. Why is it funky? Well, I'll tell you one thing. If this if this is how this was literally put in the ground, I would want this path to be like five feet higher off the ground. <laughs> like because this is like a dike right or something here to keep it from all spilling down here and destroying the last hole right anyway also where was that last tee sorry I'm trying to see here is that tee across a little nope okay I, I like the concept for this hole I'm just trying to think of, this almost looks like it was an old quarry or something, was the idea here. Is that what we were going for, or? Hmm. Because I like the concept, but I feel like this, this would be better to have been a little bit larger, or make this just like a creek or something. I don't know. Let's just play the hole and shut up. That seems like a good plan. I do like, like, this is your best landing space. Good luck. Godspeed. We're all counting on you. Surely you can be serious. Well, look at her. Look at here, guys. We got all this up here. Here's a big deck with a thing on it. You can that deck and you can watch people playing the golfing over here. And over here, this is the guy where all the people who have to be in the forest and then the people of the Greenkeeper, they're going to fall in the water and break it. Over here, and tear a new butt crack. Sorry. I'm not quite sure about the pointiness there. That's kind of cool, though. I like it. He missed a bridge. Mountaintop getaway to the right. Oh, and up here we have a very big deck.
perfect for renting for weddings because everybody likes to climb a hill that's like a giant hill in their wedding dress. All right, enough. What am I talking about? It's never enough. Deck size is important. People say that size doesn't matter, but you know, the size of one's deck can go a long way. You know, Dominator, I'm just going to say it, but if having saying I have a big deck and it goes a long way, I mean, that's just a given. If it's if it's big, it goes further, right? It's like saying I walked a long way and it was a long way. I'm just kidding. I want to be a smart Alec. It didn't work. I was a dumb Alec. I always wondered what Alec ever did to be called smart and or dumb. I feel bad for Alec. Although it was pretty good in that little cameo in Glen Gary, Glen Ross. I liked that. Coffee being for closers and all that. I don't mind that number of bunkers. I feel like they could have been sculpted slightly differently to come off a little better. I like cross fairways like this. Cross fairways are a good way to add some difficulty without um, without going too far. Aida? Which part of Aida, Dan? I've actually performed Aida twice. Both times in the course. Once with live elephants. That was ridiculous. Yes, there was elephant poop backstage. See, this is another one where we've got this deep bunker here, and I just feel like you could have you could have brought this up a little bit, um, or if it's going to be that deep, you could move it back a little bit, one or the other. If you're going to make something really, really dip, yes, I have actually. Um, if you've um, going to make a bunker really, really deep, you can actually move it further back from the um, from the green or the playing surface, whatever it is, and it'll play the same way. Well, that didn't work um, because the ball will run down into it. <laughs> it is a really, it is a really good scene, especially when he pulls out the steel testicles or whatever those were. When I was in uh, the automobile industry, we watched that like all the time. And as much as it seems like hyperbole, it is 100% not hyperbole. That is 100% how that, how that industry works. Sales in general. I did insurance for a while too. Bring back the TGC Tours podcast starring Reeb. I don't have that kind of time, dude. However, if any of you know a, a paying job for voice work or, or just idiocy, I'd be happy to participate. I thought about trying to get back into that, but if you want to do that kind of thing, you got to work pretty hard and live like in Chicago or for video games, believe it or not, I think uh, Texas and California are the places to go. 39 feet, one inch up. So I'm not commenting as much here because the, the course is kind of finding a flow. This is, uh, which one is this? This is our long par three. Now granted, I didn't see, yeah, it's 232 yards. So yeah, it, it definitely worked. It was 256 from where I played it, I think. Or two, no, it was something, I don't remember. It was a long way. Both bunkerless and over 230. Correct. You did both. And I will say, I, I still like the fact that you did bunkerless simply by using what was there. Some water and such. Two salesmen got into a fight. I almost got into a fight with a guy one time. 
mainly because he was lying through his teeth. And uh, he wanted me to split a sale with him, which I was going to do anyway, but he wanted to be on the front half of it so that he got credit for a number because I had already sold 17 that month. And uh, he was only at like 11. And uh, I looked him right in the eye and I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like, if I do that with you, then, you know, I've just, I open the door to do silly things like that with all kinds of people. I'm just going to do it the way it's supposed to be done. And you're on the back half of this deal. You know, I'm going to get a bonus off the number. He goes, no, well, no, because you're already 15. And I said, yeah, but I could make it to 20. How would you feel if you took that money out of my pocket? Whatever. And he, uh, he didn't take well to that. He's like, well, they really didn't want to work with you. They thought you were a jerk and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, they didn't. They just called me. Whatever. Then I went into the business office side of things, and uh, he always felt stupid when he had to bring me car deals, especially when he brought me crappy car deals that I had to save for him, which happened a lot. I saved a lot of car deals when I was working as a business manager. <laughs> <laughs> guys bring you absolute trash or they've got the wrong rebates or they've got, you know, something's hinky about it. And you're going, how did, how did your manager sign off on this? Okay, I don't understand something here. You've got all this lovely planting. You've got all this lovely stuff. You've put a bunker really short and you've hidden it almost entirely. Spartan, if you're still there, you got some explaining to do. What on earth is the point of this bunker? I mean, where's the other, the next T behind me? Well, here. I mean, it's just, it's just back to the left. It's still not going to be in play for anybody, and I can't see it. What well, shouldn't even be visible? It should not exist. This, that bunker has no reason for existing. Either, either, bring the land down and let, you know, some planting or some uh, um, stones or something, or just let it be fairway. And, you know, I think fairway would be a fine option. It'd be nice and open looking. Um, I'll also say having the bunker over here to the right is is fine. I personally think it would have been cool to, to open this over here, uh, but maybe short, like in here, into fairway, and instead uh, bring another bunker or tree in over here on the left so that uh, from a strategy standpoint I could play safe short to the left and have a crappy second shot in but basically it just gives me gives me um, space to hang myself if that makes sense right now I feel like this hole is demanding a really really good shot instead of uh, punishing a really, really bad shot, if that makes any sense. Like, I feel like hazards and, and angles and such should punish a bad shot rather than require a really good shot to avoid, at least on a CC course. Maybe on a, on a PGA level course, you could, you could argue the opposite. Um, the placement of that bunker is not making any sense either because I'm automatically going to be coming in from an angle that takes that bunker mostly out of play, except for the side hill lie. I guess that would be the one thing. Um, your bunker would be better off being right dead center. Like, you see this little space right here? Even just having one, like, pop bunker there would be um, more of a deterrent. Um, and instead, maybe having the green work further to the left, maybe even a, 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 a redan from left to right would be kind of interesting there. All right, let's give this a shot. 65, up four, seven miles an hour, somewhat in your face. Let's do this. Sorry, I didn't read your car sales pitch there. Let me go look. An old tiny tram in too many close the deal. Customers, I was like, dude, your customers here, you weren't. I sold the car, kick rocks. You know what? That's your sales manager should deal with that. And here's how we did it. If a guy had a day off, I would tell the customer, hey, um, your salesperson is not here. Let me give them a phone call and see how they want to handle it. And there were times I would call somebody and they'd say no 
tell them I'll be there in 10 minutes and they would get changed and they would come in even on their day off. And if they wanted to do that, that was their prerogative. Um, if they wanted to split it, I was, I was happy to do that. But I will tell you the most successful salespeople almost always just said, I'm putting in my, I'm putting on my uh, clothes and I'll be there in a few. Yeah. I mean, I can see that here on 13. I still feel like you could have here right now I've got trouble long trouble right trouble left and going short is not an option because then you you really have zero ability so either cut out like take a chainsaw to three or four of these trees and instead put rocks and scrub brush or take th this part of the fairway and bring it out a little bit further and maybe even up a little bit so again you're just giving people a place to play safe but also to kind of put themselves in a bad spot Right now, we're still kind of demanding uh, perfection. Like I said, it's not bad. It's just I feel like it's better if, if you go the other direction. And I know Petty, uh, is he's going to watch one of these at some point. I feel like on his, uh, his uh, Kura Murray, crunchy, crunchy, munchy, Captain Crunch Cliffs that he did, I felt like he missed the boat on that a number of times on that course where there really was not a, Hey, play safe, but hang yourself option. And I think that could have, that could have taken that course even further. I know he made it to the finals, but no offense, Petty, the finals was on the other side of the bracket. Your side of the bracket was losers. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. My name's Brian too. I'm, I'm the OG Brian. I'm fine with this because if somebody gets a hold of one and has a second shot, well, actually, I take that back. This, this hole is not meant for anybody to reach in two, right? If I'm not meant to reach this in two, then having the runoff, I guess that's fine. But I feel like if it's a true three shot par five, you can get really, really diabolical on your green and your approach, which you kind of have. Nah, I guess I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Because that's actually going to be harder. Like here, I'm going to go down. Well, see, no, I didn't run down. It would have to be even steeper or something, but there's got to be something really nasty. You know what I mean? If it's a true three shot par five, then you can make that green complex just brutal. In fact, I like that. Give them a drive that's kind of hard, a second shot that's super easy, and then an approach that's just a kick directly in the scrotum. All right, so how much more distance would be on this one? Like 30 yards? Which means, again, this bunker is not going to be in play at all. And I'm, I'm just going to say it. I still I think that instead of sand there, had you brought some of your planting or rocks or even fairway. Like here, for instance. This portion could be you know, bring in some of this planting. And then this portion could be fairway. Simply camber it left to right a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what this little indentation is here for. It doesn't really add anything. Uh, yeah, an outhouse in the middle of green. Or just, you know, maybe a squirrel cult. Ha ha. I think could have done something there. I like your little... I don't know, it was a pearl necklace or something. Um, hmm. You know, there is one thing, though, that's bothering me about this hole, and that is it goes back to the left. So my best angle is going to be from over here, which doesn't really exist. There is no angle from the right. So if I'm going to already have a crappy angle, I think, like, I should have more fairway over here. Like, the fairway should go way over here because I'm already I've already got a bad angle I've already you know hosed myself so if you widened it here 
and then widened it right here where these rocks are so that if I got myself in trouble, I had a place to get out to. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't take, don't take bogey away from the player. Uh, right now this hole feels kind of like a, an all or nothing kind of hole. And um, all or nothing holes, I don't know. I feel like even on a heroic, on an heroic hole, usually not every shot is heroic, if that makes sense. Like it's not every shot is perfect or kick you in the balls. See, I've played that dead, I played that dead in the middle of the fairway, long, over 300 yards, and I've got a, you know, I've got a worse, well, I take that back. Based on the way this is, this angle is not bad, but it's certainly, you know, I'm hitting over a bunch of crap, so I'm not sure. Well, and Spartan, here's the deal. It's not just from a playability standpoint. If you were to, whenever you add fairway out to one side or the other a little bit, you can use some sloping and you're going to make it look better. I hate to say it, but but tight little ribbony holes just from the tee don't look that great. They just don't. So go ahead and give yourself some more fairway, even if nobody plays over there. You know, give them, give them a place to hang themselves a little bit, to bail out a little bit, but then also it's going to help you visually, I think. That was not a slow swing. And yet, I'm down here in the nipple. I don't want to be in the nipple. Get up the hill, get up the hill, get up the hill, get up the hill. Hey, made it up the hill. Felt like on that last shot, just pulling a G-Dog. HB! HB! What are you doing, HB? This is the, the retaining wall here is, is well done. I mean, you've got, you've got some, uh, you know, funky edges, but honestly, from the tee, from where you're actually playing, it looks fine. This is a lovely shot. I will say, I, I think that this could have been even cooler had you bumped the green up even a maybe a slightly bit more and been a little more aggressive in its, its run down into the water. And then um, that that bunker is really only in play for this particular pin position, correct? So you could either make it smaller or take it. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'd like this bunker more if this front edge of it were uh, slightly more rounded and it was just flat, like with a with a steep lip to it. I don't know how to describe it. I do, but I'd have to use one of my own courses to do it, and I don't want to do that because I think that's... I don't need to be that guy. That's going to be too long. We'll see. Maybe not. Could just hit the pin. That'd be okay. Ooh, that was not too bad. I will take that shot. Go, 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 go in the hole. Or miss. That's fine, too. Yeah, it really is a good-looking hole. I like where this hole sits. I also will, will both applaud and chastise you for the lack of waterfall. That would have been a cool place for a waterfall, but it also would have been a stupid place for a waterfall. So good job. And also, you suck. All at the same time. You like that? I can do that. I'm the, I'm the contest runner. I can do what I want. Guys, I can do what I want. You can't make me do it. I don't even care. Sometimes my mom lets me go outside without my helmet on. I like peanut butter. Alright. This is a good look off the tee. There are a couple of things I'm not sure about. Again, the, the jiviness of the edge of that fairway, I, I don't quite get. 
Um, again, the bunker here is fine. Uh, yeah, this this is fine. I mean, I, I would say on a whole this long, you could give somebody a slight, you know, a little more bailout over there. But, you know, if, if I really want to play safe and play like this, well, here, I'll just do it. Let's just see what happens. If I wanted to lay back short to a slightly wider section, be like 250 yards, and then I have a 234-yard shot uphill to, <laughs> to a green with water on the right and a severe runoff to the left. Yeah, so again, the, the, the difficulty of this hole is its length... And it's um, this approach, right? So I'm not sure why we couldn't give a little more space back here. Because if you get in this bunker, you're dead. You're laying up, which is why these bunkers don't bother me. Because they're going to attack a, a layup shot. I feel like we're getting a little close to things here. Um, also, the shaping on them is not quite as cool as some of the others. But that's okay. All right, let's... Yeah, I'm not going to make this no matter what I do, so whatever. I'm just going to hit it up here and hit another shot. I want to see if it runs all the way through. Hey, it does! Neat! That's how I design, don't you know? HB! Oh, there, we did it. Good. If G-Dog watches this and wants to yell at me, that's fine. Now, what I like the most is that going up to the T, I have protection and I won't fall. Coming down from the T, screw me, fall and kill yourself, I don't care. I think that is awesome. Did you guys notice that? Look, here I'll show you. Actually, let's do this. There we go. So if you want to go up to the T, there you go. You got some guardrails, protection. But once you tee off, you may as well just roll down the hill. Anyway, I have no idea where I am now. Ah, over here, right? Yes. Ooh, a 90 degree -er. Um, What's his bucket? Uh, uh, Matt, Mr. Vinegar. Who, as we all know, is in the industry IRL, told me 90 degree dog legs is typically a sign of bad routing. I don't know that I 100% agree with that. But I will say, let's see how far I go here. Now, having hit that shot, I'm wondering now if there's a possibility of cutting that dog leg over to the left. I, I didn't I just say I wasn't sure I agreed with that. Come on now. Yeah, pretty heavy caddy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Almost the road hole. So this is another one. We've got a theme going here on this back nine, which is okay, but we've got a lot of these really steep runoffs from the greens, which is okay. But right now, there is zero safe approach to this green, which I guess is fine. But again, we've got, we've got no good access. Zero. You either hit it on the fly or you're dead. And maybe, uh, well, this one bends around a natural giant crevice thing, whatever it is. Oh, get up the hill. Yeah, the camber really does save that. I like our, our clubhouse area. is nice. we got a little practice putting green up there. Um, I feel like, other than a few holes, I liked the front of this course better than the back. Um... 
I'm trying to put my finger on why I feel like I feel like other than a couple of those centerline bunker kind of situations, the the layout of the green, of the fairways was a little better, and the uh, the hazards around the greens were a little better. On the back, it's like you had an idea and you wanted to perfect it, and you used two or three holes to try and perfect it. You never quite got what you wanted, which is fine. Um, but that was a good course. That one will that one will end up being played, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, Dan, par five, eighteenth points off, minus seventy five points. Um, well, we're gonna rate these all five star, oops, or zero star. You know, five zero, it's all the same. Why is this not going where I want it to go? Okay, good enough. Whatever works. I've got time. I'm gonna do one more. Um, I'm wondering if I should end and restart so that I can save each one. That's probably a good idea, isn't it? Let's do that. I'm going to end and restart so that I can uh, make that work. Here, you guys will love this. This will be like a big, watch this, into infinity. We're going to stop this one and I'll come back in a minute, all right? Thank you much.